Hey everyone, thank you for joining us today. If you want to stay up to date on all the mobile technology coming out and learn cool tips, tricks, and hidden features, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time you post new videos. Let's go ahead and jump right in. We're going to show you how to mirror that screen to your TV. Now to do this, you will need uh, home Wi-Fi. You will also need uh, a Google Chromecast device. Um, or you can do it with a Roku. So one of those three devices or actually the Amazon Fire TV, you should also be able to do it with one of those devices. Now I'm going to show two methods here. Now the first method I show will only work with a Chromecast, but the other methods, uh, the second method is going to work with those other devices, the Roku, Fire TV, Stick, Chromecast, uh, all that stuff. So the first method I want to show you how to mirror your complete screen, everything on your screen, to your TV. Now to do that, you're gonna to need to download the Google Home app. So if we just go to the Google Play Store, just gonna type in Google Home, download this app here. We'll open it up and I'll walk you through the setup really quickly. So make sure you do have a Gmail account on the phone, check. If not, you can go ahead and sign into one, press okay. Next, we're gonna turn on our location services. You don't necessarily have to do this, it's optional. Um, I'm gonna hit deny on that. Now, my Chromecast, I have it uh, customized so it's named Office TV. So that's why it shows Office TV here. But on yours, it will say Chromecast or whatever room you've assigned it to, that's what you'll see there. Now, I'm gonna click on um, right here, Office TV, not the first one, but the second one. Tap there. And then at the bottom of the screen, I'm gonna click on Cast My Screen. And when you tap Cast My Screen, Hit cast my screen again, and then you will see it now playing on the TV. So now anything that you do on the phone, you're gonna see it on the TV. So it's a direct mirror. I can turn the phone sideways, uh, not in that setting actually, but if I were to go to the Play Store, for example, and I rotated it sideways like this, it will also show up in that same way on the TV. Now, this is a great function for if you wanted to show gameplay, you're playing something you want people in the room to be able to see it. You took a trip and you want people to see the pictures. That's another way. Um, you can also play a YouTube, for example, this way. So YouTube does rotate when you, there we go. All right, so I can go just quickly show you a video. Last video I uploaded. So, it will play right from my phone to the TV. Now, the problem is with this method, um, I can't use the phone because it's gonna mirror exactly what's on my screen, which is frustrating. If I was gonna mirror a video to the TV, I'd wanna still use my phone, which is gonna lead into our next option. So to stop this, I'm just gonna pause, basically go home, get out of that app, and if I wanna stop it from mirroring, I'm gonna go back to Google Home and just tap on Stop Mirroring. Now it's not mirroring my screen anymore. Now, this other option, which to me is the better option if your main goal is I wanna play a YouTube video on the TV or a Netflix video or Hulu, one of those streaming platforms, this would be the better option. And this is the option that will work on a Roku, on a Chromecast, Fire TV. It should work on just about all of the streaming devices. So what you're gonna do is just simply open the video that you want to play. So I have the video open right here. Now in the upper corner, upper right corner, you're gonna tap on this little icon, it's your cast icon. And then I'm gonna tap on Office TV again. And now you'll see on the TV that the video is gonna to start to play on the TV, but my phone hey, is gonna work like normal. Now you can use your phone as the volume control to turn the video down. And, but essentially the video is gonna play on the TV and I can still use my phone to do other things. I can search Google, I can text message, whatever you name it, I can do it. Because with this method, it's only sending the video, not the entire screen. And if you swipe down from the top, you can control the video from here. So I can pause it or play, or I can hit this little X here 
and have it stop playing altogether. I will have a link in the description below of where you can buy a Chromecast if you don't have one. And I also include links for the Roku and the Fire TV Stick and Fire TV Cube as well. Hope you guys did find this video helpful. Make sure you like, favorite, and share if it was helpful. Hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.